Okay, good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, wherever you might be in the world. This is Hedging Lee back again with a brief Bitcoin update. So let's see what happened overnight. And I have a new pa account potential that I want to share with you that someone shared with me and before that let's just review this this is the blue line resistance that I had been saying that Bitcoin price has to breach above to maintain and sustain the bullish outlook <clears throat> and I had counted this That's a W, X, and Y. Some of the analysts out there have been calling this decline a crash, saying Bitcoin is crashing. I, th I don't think this is a crash scenario. I think this is very orderly one one two one two one two step down in a very corrective manner. I had said that if it goes below the bottom of this point, uh, it was just out of around let's say thirty four sixty four. For me that would be a bit of a line in the sand. And I had been looking for a an impulsive one two one two three four five type of move to bring us to all time newer highs that hasn't been happening instead we're looking at something that is very a, B, C looking. A, B, C. A, B, C. Three wave style. So that's kind of interesting because at Seanster pointed out to me of the probability of the possibility of this where this is A B and C so this W X Y made up the subwaves of A, big A, big B, okay, and if this is the case, then this line of resistance will be broken, most likely. If this was a three-wave A, this is a three-wave B, we need to start going on an impulse, one, two, three, four, five wave, towards a big B. And that's very interesting because that fits the scenario, especially on, on that big picture scale, where if this is A and now B is completing,
see what we write here. Wholly plausible. It makes sense to me. Because this doesn't look very impulsive. It has been bothering me for some time how three wavish one, two, three, this is looking. And how if this is wave two of three, so I had called it one, two, wave one of three, two of three, the form and the fit just was not looking right. So A, B, and C. That is the count that makes sense to me for now. And even if it goes, it could still work to an all-time new high. That will be an expanded flat. How will you know what which way it's going to go? Well, as prices are being put in, we need to monitor the price actions. So if this is correct, A, B, and C, then B should be almost done. And if B is almost done, so here's A, B, C, subwaves of this A, A, B, they should be, remember last night? I wanted to see one, two, three, four, five. There could be one more lower, lower. Well, here it is. Remove the lines on that. Except just draw one here. One thing about the Elliott wave labeling is I cannot do partials, which is interesting. Partial labels. So here is again ABC. I'm going to do. A, B, C. Hello. Yes. Okay. Nope, not that way. Do it again. A, B, C. This is A, B, C, making up A. Another A, B, C, making up B. And this three, three, one, two, three, four, five. Makes sense to me. And Just so that we can put in the count. One, two, three, four, five. I think this five is a little short. After it goes up, it may come back down for one more lower low. But technically, because it's lower than four, I'm so lower than three, this five could be in. So I'm going to put it in for now. Okay, one, two, three, four, five. If C of B 
is complete or almost complete. Let's see what my indicator is saying for MACD. For my hourly MACD, I would like to see the indicator lies above this line. Have to go above and start going and rising. Then the ABC of B would be indi indicative of being complete. And what I would like to see for the onset of C is an impulse wave of its own. But this itself will be composed of ABC subwaves. But we can count that as new price data is being put in. So again, just to summarize, WXY where the subwaves are the greater A collective wave. We are currently working on the greater B collective wave in an ABC format. This was the ABC of the subwave A of B. We are working on the ABC of the subwave of this little b, which is a subwave of the big b. And if this c, one, two, three, four, five waves is complete, then we should see a turnaround. See a turnaround. Now I say this still with my big I towards the overall count I have been giving for the broadening pattern A, B, C, D could have already been done and we could have started a E downward wave. From a technical perspective, how would we know if E has started? Start down. That is why this level is the first critical support if it is broken. I'd be on a little extra alert to start seeing a pathway towards the E. Remember how I said it doesn't matter how you count the waves, you end up in the same destination? This is really the same thing. I think it's just a matter of time difference. This will be a far swifter, more quick pathway to the 2,000 range, 2,000 to 2,500 range, versus this would be A, B, C will be a more time-consumed, lengthy pathway to the same end of wave 4. Okay. So that's my morning update. Thanks for Sean, at Seanster, for um, sharing with me 
his thoughts on this A, B, C possibility. Very helpful. If you have any questions, please post comments. And also, please do consider kindly upvoting my blogs. Um, these do take time and a lot of thought and research. I very much enjoy doing this because I know it's helping people. And that is my primary objective in the Steemit blog. So, as always, I wish you all massive profits. And let's see if this point down here happens for wave four. So we can back up the truck at these levels and await the rise of wave five to come, which will be huge. I'm thinking seven thousand to nine thousand dollars.